Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you I manage did to persuade? Great. All of them. Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you'd succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was yeah. feeling quite poorly, she apologizes but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. She I did. had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France. Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duke Manuel? For. Your Eminence? For. But I. Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. von Volner? For... What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? For... The votes are now cast. The project is therefore... Approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? He did. William, what have you done? Not now. Oh. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I... cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! 
Help After me. several Help. centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your <laughs> body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Success. I tried to convince the guests to follow Lord Mortimer's plan. I convinced Ben Wobidoy, I convinced Don Volner, I uh, convinced Piaggi. I swung the sighting for in favor of Lord Mortimer. I learned that Sir Holm gave a mission to one Wolner. What? Changed the, the spelling there? Noticed that von Wolner was just coming from outside. That was the only paths? Did everything right? Um and questioning questioning. Am I dreaming or? Louis frozen. It's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away at me from the inside. I. I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. What? Yes, I'll join no. you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. Why am I helping him? I don't understand. Beneath your compassion, we take refuge, O oh Mother of God. I deserve a great destiny, and I will let nothing, nor no one, stand in the way of my dream. History will remember me, and the sacrifices I made. Dear God, if I lose the war against France, I will be doomed. I sense that something is happening, but I could no longer move. Um, I don't understand. 
I deserve a great destiny, and I will let nothing, nor no one, stand in the. Oh, painting. 